What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to resize apps with the size grip widget for Kenter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at resizing apps with the size grip widget. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at the size grip widget. But before we get started, I've got a couple of very quick announcements. It was my birthday two days ago, Valentine's Day. So many of you know, I'm running a super special at Udemy. All my courses at the absolute cheapest, they'll let me do it. Most of them are $9.95 each or $9.99, something like that. A couple of them are like $10.99 or $11.99. Udemy changes the price on them. I have absolutely no idea why, but they are the absolute cheapest I can get them for the next two days. Two days? Yeah, two days. So the sale started yesterday. There's two more days left. Just go to johnelder.com forward slash Udemy and you can see a list of all the courses. If you click on any of these, it'll go straight to Udemy to that course with the coupon code applied and you'll pay either $9.99 or $10.99 or in some cases, just a few cases, $11.99, but most of them, like 80% of these courses, you can pick up for $9.99 for the next couple of days. So definitely check that out. The second announcement, very quickly, I've started another YouTube channel for my hiking. A lot of you guys know I do a lot of hiking on the weekends here in Vegas in the mountains, and I've posted my very first hiking video. So I would really appreciate it if you ran over there and gave it a quick watch, maybe a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. I'll put a link to this in the uh, description below, but you can see this is my hike from a couple of weeks ago on North Peak. You can see awesome views. Uh, it's really kind of fun and, uh, you know, it's not very long. So check it out if you're interested. You want to see what I get up to on the weekend. That's a great way to follow me there. So uh, subscribe there if you're interested. If not, don't. <laughs> but whatever. Like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the size grip widget to resize our app. So you can see I could resize this app. And I'm using this. You could just sort of see in the bottom corner of this, I, there's like a few dots. And it's sort of like in a triangle. That's the size grip widget. And you can resize apps without the size grip widget, but this is kind of more stylish and it gives you a couple of options that we're gonna talk about. And it's just sort of better looking more, I don't know, modern maybe, to have the little tab down here that you can resize. Now you could put this here in the bottom, you could put this up here at the top and it will still resize when you click on it. So we'll play around with it and you'll see, but uh, kind of interesting. This Now this is sort of a boring topic, but. This is something you're gonna to wanna to add to most of your apps anyway, just to make it look better. So we haven't talked about it yet, so I figured we'd talk about it in this video. So we've got a file called sizegrip.py. I've got our basic Kinter starter code that we always have. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. You can find a link to the code for this video and all my videos in the pinned comment section below, as well as the link to my Kinter playlist, which has almost 200 Kinter videos on it. So if you haven't checked that out yet, definitely check out that playlist. Tons and tons of Kinter videos and uh, pretty cool. So the size grip widget is actually a TTK widget, and we've looked at most of the TTK widgets before. This may be the only one we haven't looked at yet. So we need to import TTK. So let's go from tkenter, import TTK, and then we can go ahead and use this size grip widget. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your app is resizable. And it probably is by default, but you can make sure explicitly by going root.resizable and then passing in a width and a height. So we want it to be resizable width-wise and height-wise. So we would go true, true. If you only wanted it to be resizable uh, width-wise, you would go true, false, right? So let me just comment here, uh, width, height. So the first one here is the width, the second one here is the height. So we've put both of them to true, we can resize it in both directions, right? So that's how to explicitly do that. And let me just comment, make the app resizable. I think we can figure it out, but okay. So that's how you do that. So let's start out by just creating a quick label. So we have something in here and this is gonna be a label. We wanna put it in root for now. Let's give this a text equal, uh, hello world. And let's give this a font equal. Let me put this on another line so we can read it easier. Helvetica and like 32. And then let's go my underscore label dot pack and give this a pad Y of like 50 to really push it down the screen. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. Just make sure everything's looking good here. So let's head over to our terminal and go Python size grip dot pi. Uh oh, and see right off the bat, 
I misspelled resizable. <laughs> All right, so that should not have an E in it. Resizable. I misspelled it in the comment too. Why didn't you tell me? All right, so let's save this and run it. All right, so now we get this app says hello world. Now, if we grab the corner of this without doing anything else, obviously we can resize it. So it's obviously not necessary to use the size grip widget to do this. But like I said, it looks better. So eh, we might as well learn it, right? And like I said, you could do some fun things with it if you want to. So, okay, let's just create this guy. So create size grip. And I'm just going to call this SG short for size grip or my size grip. Okay, whatever. And this is a TTK widget and it's a size grip widget. And we just want to put this in root for now. And then let's my size grip dot pack. And we can pack and grid this and it's going to be slightly different for each one. So I'll go through both of them. So let's start out with, well, let's do grid. Let's do grid first to get that one out of the way. So if it's grid, we want to put this in row, let's say one, and let's give it a sticky of southeast. And southeast is the bottom right corner, right? So that's southeast. So that's how we do that. So if we're going to use the grid system, we also need to reconfigure our rows and columns for grid. And to do this, we've actually kind of done this before. We go root dot column configure. And let's set that equal to zero and give it a weight of one. And then we also go root dot row configure and also give that a zero and a weight of one. If we go ahead and save that, it should work now. Let's go ahead and run this guy. Let's clear the screen and get rid of that error because man, that's embarrassing. Uh oh, we put pack somewhere. Ah, we got ahead of ourselves. So we packed our label. So for now, I'm just going to take out this label. So let's go ahead and save this, run it. And when we do, we see we've got this little, the little dotty triangle thing down in the corner and we can click on it and resize it, right? So that's all there is to it. So like I said, we can move this around. It doesn't have to be in that corner to hilarious effect. We could put this anywhere we want. So if we put it Southwest, it's going to be on the other side at the bottom, right? So we could grab this. Now it's over here. I could still grab it. And when I do, like the app still resizes, even though the thing is down here, which is kind of weird. And we can also grab it here as we always would, but uh, yeah, kind of goofy, right? <laughs> so I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can, and it's sort of fun. So let's change this back to Southeast. Now I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out. And let's say a uh, grid and same thing here. I'm going to comment this out. And now let's do the same thing with pack. So let's go my underscore size grip dot pack. Now with pack, it's slightly different. We want to put this on a side equals right. I want to put it on the right side. And then let's anchor this in the southeast corner. Again, southeast, right? So with grid, we use sticky. With pack, we use anchor, right? And we also give it a side. So let's go ahead and save this and let's undo our label because, hey, we can use our label now because it's been packed. So, okay, save this, run it. And you can see there it is again, and it works. So that's pretty cool. Again, we can move this around. If we want to get really crazy, we could put it, for instance, uh, let's side top and maybe northwest. So if we save this and run it, <laughs> here it is underneath our packed label, right? So. <laughs> Interesting. So that's fun. So what you might want to do is make a little fake status bar and put it in the status bar. So that's sort of a common thing. So let's head back over here and kind of play with that and see what we can do. Let's change this back to southeast and give it a side of right. So let's create a frame. And I'm going to call it my underscore frame. And this is a frame. We want to put it in root. And I want to give this a highlight background of like gray. I spell gray with an A or an E. Try A. And let's go highlight thickness equals one. So with frames, to give them a border, you don't use BD, you use highlight background and highlight thickness. So hopefully I spelled that right. It looks like I did. 
So that's cool. We can then my underscore frame dot pack this guy. And let's give this a side equals bottom and a fill equals X so it stretches along the entire thing. Now we can put our size grip instead of putting it in root, we can put it in my frame like that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And you see now we have a little status bar down here, the size grip is in it. Looks kind of cool. Right? Very cool. We could give our label, we could put our label in a frame and give that frame a size grip if we wanted to. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> that would be insane, but we're gonna do it. So let's call this my underscore frame two. And that's a frame we want to put it in root. And let me just come down here and copy all of this. There we go. And then let's just my underscore frame dot pack and give this a pad Y of like 20. And then instead of oops, my friend two, there we go. And then instead of our label being at root, we could put our label in there. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that looks okay. Okay, so we've got this. Maybe we should give our label some pad X as well. So just for fun. So let's go pad X equals 20 or something. So now let's create another size grip. So let me just copy this come up here. Let's call this my size grip two. And instead of putting it in my frame, we want to put it in this guy, my frame two. So there we go. Same thing. We want the side right and anchor southeast. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's run it. See how this looks. Oh, yeah. So now we've got a little size grip thing right there, a little dotty triangle. We can grab this and resize and all sorts of hilarity ensues. Right? You see the text kind of lags as we resize it when we resize this one because we're doing weird stuff here. But uh, anyway, you get the idea. You're not ever going to want to do this. I think it's just funny. So I thought I would show it to you. Right? You're almost always going to want the size grip to go down here. So, okay, size grip, interesting, something worth knowing. You probably want to use it. Not that difficult and really not that useful because, like I said, we can resize our apps without using the size grip little dotted triangle thing and it works just fine. It's just sort of modern GUIs have this little guy in the corner and people sort of sometimes expect to see that. And that's how you do it. And it's pretty simple. So, that's all for this video. Be sure and check out that Udemy sale. It goes on for another day or two. Most of my courses for $9.99 each, which is fantastic. Uh, and also check out my hiking video if you want. It's just fun. There's no coding or anything. But uh, if you're interested in what I'm up to on the weekend, you want to see, follow along with me, check it out. It's kind of cool. Subscribe if you want. And I'd appreciate that. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.